Okay, um, epoxy resin um, is obviously liquid form, but we can use um, three additives or four additives uh, to change the nature of the, the material itself. Um, the first one is a microfiber, which is a fluffy um, shredded wood um, fiber type product. Um, this gives um, the resin extreme strength very good for, for bonding high stress joints um, but it doesn't leave a very smooth finish it's very hard to get a smooth finish with the product the next material is glass bubbles which is a very powdery substance um, which gives the resin something like the consistency of um, crunchy bar so it actually reduces the strength of the resin quite considerably because you've got these thousands of little porous bubbles in it. Um, but it makes it very easy to sand. So it's micro uh, uh, glass bubbles are used primarily for a filling purpose. Um, and the last substance is colloidal silica, which is a very, very fine powder indeed and has a very soapy feel to, uh, to uh, your skin. Um, and this we use to make the resin more viscous. So on glue joints, resin doesn't flow out um, and, and leave the joint dry. Also colloidal silica um, adds a certain amount of durability, so we use colloidal silica in resin for doing leading edges of centre boards, rudders, etc. Um, and it's quite a good product for using that way as well. Needless to say, they are powder form products, microscopic products, so breathing apparatus, dust masks, well ventilated areas are, are of course um, prerequisite.